everyone and welcome back to Soul State Inc. My name is Beth and I am here today with my Friday Reads slash June TBR. Um, unfortunately, my week four unwrapping for middle grade May has somehow disappeared because I am not technologically savvy. But most of the books that I unwrapped then have carried over to June, so you're not losing a whole bunch. I've barely read anything in the past week, week and a half, because I've been busy. I know the school year's over, I should be taking a break, but the first week of June every year, my church has what we call singing school, and it is a camp where students come from across several states and they stay with members of the church and then we have teachers that teach a girls choir and a boys choir the boys learn how to lead singing um and the girls learn how to sing in the chorus and then thursday night is talent show which i didn't get to see because elena was just overtired we didn't get to stay for it and tonight is the big concert where the choruses sing for us we've got a girls choir a boys choir and a mixed choir and then the boys each lead a song before they do the choir performances for us. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. It's a wonderful week, and I have amazing girls that live with me every year. So this year I've had an 11-year-old and three 15-year-olds, plus my five-and-a-half-year-old. Uh, it's been very hectic. I haven't had a lot of time to read. Uh, but that being said, I have a huge stack of books on my bedside table. So I think I've talked about all of these previously. I'm just going to go through really quickly and let you know what I'm currently working on and what I will be hopefully finishing up over the next week or two. First, we've got Upside Down Magic. This is by Sarah Milanowski, Lauren Miracle, and Emily Jenkins. It's actually book two, Sticks and, Ton Sticks and Stones, book two of the Upside Down Magic uh, series. I'm on chapter five, like page 40, something like that. Yeah, page 41. Uh, it's very cute, very quick read. Uh, I just read three chapters sitting here waiting on my kid to take a nap so I could do the video for you. So hopefully this one I'll be finishing this weekend. Next is The Trials of Apollo, book one, The Hidden Oracle. This is by Rick Riordan, Riordan, whatever his name is. Um, and I decided to go ahead and read these one because I unwrapped this like in the second week of my May unwrappings and then didn't get around to it. And two, because I just finished listening to the audiobook for the second Magnus Chase book, and they talk about how there's been some uh, fallen god that's wreaking havoc in New York. So I need to read the first couple of Apollo books uh, because they tie in at least a little bit to the Magnus Chase books, and I'm waiting on the third Magnus Chase. I do have this on audiobook, so hopefully I'll be able to listen to more of that soon. I am on chapter six, page 45 at this point. I am also still working on The Midnight Palace by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Not because I'm not loving it. I'm about halfway through. I am absolutely loving it. But this is a book that I get pulled out of. Um, and if I get pulled out of it, then it takes a while for me to get back into it. So I really prefer to have a good chunk of time where I can sit and read it. And I haven't been able to do that this week. But I have carried it everywhere with me. And a couple of the teachers that I only get to see once or twice a year, they have been laughing at me all week long because we'll sit down to dinner and I'll have my book out and they'll be like, don't you love us anymore? Yes, but I want to read my Zafon book. All right, next we have a book I haven't started yet, and that is The Secret Zoo by Brian Chick. This one, I read the first page and it looks like it's going to be a very quick read and it's super intriguing. It is an adventure story where um, four friends live next door to a zoo and the animals start behaving weirdly and then one of the friends disappears and the other three have to go and find her and there's just a lot more to the zoo than they think there is. That's all I know about it. That's all I want to know about it. I'm super excited to read it. Then we've got Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Uh, this is my only new adult, young adult book on the list, but it's been getting a lot of play on BookTube lately, and it had just been put on the shelf at my library, and I thought I would snatch it up and read it. 
I've heard differing reports on it, but I am super excited to make up my own mind. Then I have Wonderling by Mira Bartok. I read the first chapter of this two weeks ago because this was in my week four unwrapping and I really enjoyed it. I was super excited to keep going. And then I was trying to finish up some other books and it's just sat on my bedside table ever since then. Then I've got Shadow Weaver by Marcy Kate Connolly. Again, I read the first chapter. It was in my week four unwrapping and it seems really, really interesting. This little girl is a shadow weaver, um, but she actually talks to her shadows and she can make them do things that other shadow weavers cannot. So people get freaked out by her. And her best friend is this little, sh her shadow, which is a shadow cat. And um, it seems really interesting and kind of spooky. And I'm very excited to get to it. But again, it's been sitting on my bedside table for the last two or three weeks waiting on me. And then the final thing I have is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And I haven't read any of this one, but I've heard so many amazing things. I cannot wait to actually read it. This is another one that was in my unwrapping and then it's just been sitting there waiting on me. And that was not the final thing actually, because I got book mail today and I was asked by the author if I wanted to read this one and the synopsis sounded amazing. So I said, yes, please. And it is The Dragon of the Month Club by Ian Reading. And look at that cover. Isn't that phenomenal? It is just so, so cute. Look at the back cover. Oh, I love it. And basically, these friends, Ayana Full and Tyler Travers, they find a magic book and they start trying to like use these magical spells in this magic book. And then all of a sudden, not only are they doing magic, but they find themselves enrolled in the Dragon of the Month Club. So on the 13th of every month, a new conjuring spell appears that allows them to conjure the Dragon of the Month. And there's all sorts of different kinds of dragons. But then one month, their spell goes awry. And instead of conjuring the dragon, they wind up being sucked into an alternate universe that is made up of all of the different fantasy and adventure books that are scattered across Tyler's room. And that's all I know. It just, there's a line on here that says, drawing inspiration from some of literature's most memorable stories from 19th century German folk tales to the streets of Sherlock Holmes, London, the adventures of Ayana and Tyler bring these classic stories to life in delightfully strange and unexpected ways. And I just could not say no. It's dragons and German folk tales and Sherlock Holmes. And I have to see how Ian Reading put all that together. So I am really, really, really looking forward to reading this one. And we'll give you guys an honest review as soon as I get this finished. So that's all of the books that I am working on currently. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine books I'm working on currently. I read 36, 37, somewhere in that range during the month of May. So I'm thinking nine is a pretty good TBR for the month of June. But if I finish these guys, I will do some more unwrappings. I still have 20 books left to unwrap in my middle grade TBR. So look forward to seeing those eventually. I would love to know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. Uh, leave me your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Until next time, have a great weekend. Bye.